Hi guys, welcome to Make With Me Monday. Um, my name is Robin, if you don't know me. Uh, hi, what's up? Um, so today on Make With Me Monday, I'm gonna be doing two color bath bombs and I'm gonna sh also be using a discoloring fragrance oil so we can kind of talk about that a little bit if you guys want to. Um, I do, I, I was going to do like half and half colors, like how you get two you like perfect halves, um, but I actually really need to make these uh, Minecraft slash Borg bath bombs that I make, so I figure since I already have to make it and I need to be making it, it's a good thing to make on a live, because I have to be making it. Um, so this is uh, my dry ingredients plus my wet ingredients. It's uh, all my bath bomb mix except for my citric acid. And I'm going to, I mean, I guess I could have colored this all green to start off with, but I didn't, so I'm gonna split it. <laughs> that is one way you could do it though. Um, I could have started off by coloring the whole thing like green and then adding more color to it because these are green. There are two types of green. Um, which green is also a good thing to talk about right now because we're going into holiday time, holiday time. All right, let me, let me do the math on this real quick and split it. And then I'll, uh, yeah, just one second. I could have done this off camera. You get, you know, you guys can let me know. Would you rather me do this kind of stuff off camera or is it just worth it to watch me do it? All right, so I do it every time because it's always going to be like a little bit different. There's always going to be, you know, I added a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that. So, okay, I'm going to put a mix back into here. Now, I probably won't do the full batch because that's a long time. Um, but I can do, you know, part of the batch with you guys. So normally when you guys see me do it, I'm doing a half batch, but because I'm splitting the colors on this, and this covers two types of bath bombs for me, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and do the full batch today, right now. So I'll show you in a second what they look like when I'm done with them. Okay, let's get that started. This is gonna be green. It's gonna be two types of green. Um, I do Minecraft and I also do Borg, which is a Star Trek thing. So um, I do them both the same type of bath bomb. So I'll make the whole batch. Half of them will be Minecraft, half of them will be Borg. They both sell equally as well. If you don't know what a Borg is, don't even worry about it. Most people, I assume, don't. <laughs> it's like a mine. It's a it's a Star Trek nerdy thing, but yeah. Um, okay, so to this, I'm gonna add. One, two, I want a bright green and I want a light green. So we'll have this one be our bright green. I mean, that doesn't make sense. I want a bright green and a, a light green and a dark green. That makes more sense, right? Um, so I added three parts of yellow to that. And I might have to, I'll probably have to modify it and go back through. And then I'm just gonna add just one part blue and then I'm gonna see how that does. Now there's a green color study, so if you're not like comfortable just throwing it in there and playing around like I'm doing, um, you can definitely follow the green color study and get kind of a better idea about different types of greens that you could use and mix. Um, a lot of times I just kind of wing it, to be honest, but uh, <laughs> Lunar Pixies is not knowing a board should be a crime. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I grew up, my dad was a big Star Trek nerd. So, all right, so let me show you this green we have. And I still haven't added my citric acid to it yet. And the citric acid will morph the color a little bit, but let me show you this green. It's nice, right? Um, it could probably be a little bit brighter, but I think it's cool. I think I'll just leave it at that. I'm gonna go ahead and add the citric acid. And I'm gonna mix it. So, one of the ways to do two color bath bombs, 
like this one where it's like sprinkled in and it's just kind of randomly in there, right? Or you can do where it's a half and half, half one color, half the other color. Same principle, um, make the whole batch, then split the batch and add your colors separately. It's a little bit easier when it's like a blended color like this because there's not as much stress about like making sure you're not cross contaminating the colors and stuff. So I'm going to pull this and put it in this bowl and swap it out for the other color. Now, this fragrance oil is tobacco vanilla from Muddy Soap Co. It's amazing. It's a Tom Ford dupe. It is amazing. It's a really good seller for me. Um, in soap, it discolors very darkly. And in bath bombs, it also discolors. Somebody asked, um, I think last time, about um, allowing a discoloring fragrance oil to make brown. Maybe that was on a different live. Or with this. I do, I do two lives a week, so it's hard to know. Um, or if, you know, you just had to make the mix brown. So I'll show you, I'm sure you could kind of see on that guy, but he doesn't, like a discoloring fragrance oil is not like soap where it's going to color the whole thing dark. It's going to just leave specks and speckles, which if you don't mind, that's fine. If you do mind, that's obviously not cool. Um, so for this one, I'm going to do two parts yellow two parts blue so it's going to be a more of a like an evergreen color like a deeper green and then depending on how dark it is I might actually throw in like a pinch of red 40 just to make sure it's darker and that there's a nice differentiation fancy word right between the two and this is this is lake colorants from make your own buzz so one of the things that I've noticed with the color studies is that sometimes you know, if people are having trouble with the colors not coming out as accurate for them, um, a lot of times it's going to have to do with the dye load of wherever you're getting your lakes from. So lakes are dyes, um, but they're just they're, they've been sprayed on an aluminum salt substrate, so it's to help carry the dye throughout the mix and it's not going to have it's going to be different quality from different suppliers just like dyes are so I use make your own buzz I like really enjoy how rich and dark the colors are um, I have some from other suppliers and make your own buzz is my favorite okay so you can see for this one how much darker it is, right? And that's a really good like difference between the two. So I think we're gonna go with that and not add the red 40 like I had potentially planned on doing. Um, and I'm gonna add the citric acid to this one. Scrape that down a little bit. Woo! Got my nose. <laughs> okay, let that mix. Now, let me put these away somewhere to see. And I'm going to be using the Kata Cube. It's a popular, I mean, a lot of people use this for shower steamers. Um, I think that's what most people use it for, is shower steamers. When I first saw it, the first thing I thought of was Borg. They have square shaped spaceships so that was the first thing I thought of that was where my brain went with that connection but um, a lot of people use them for shower stingers and so what I was talking about discoloring so if you look in there you can see like brown specks and this is really old this is from a, this is from an older batch so you can see brown. I mean, it's not bad. I would still, I'm still gonna sell it. Um, once I have this fresh batch though, I probably will discount it because you'll be able to see the difference between the two batches a lot more noticeably. 
but there's nothing wrong with the bath bomb itself. It's still perfectly fine and usable. And it's worth it to me because this fragrance is like amazing. It's really good. It's a really good fragrance. Okay, so these are both kind of dry. And you notice I didn't put any binder in. It is like so humid outside today. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it with, I'm going to try it without binder first and see. This is what we affectionately call our dump bowl. So that will be to dump when the mix does not work. And I will hide that in the middle. So, um, with the 3D mold, you put the, this is like a plunger style, so you put the plate on the bottom. I'm going to tear my mold out. Now I want them to be, and I'm just going to sprinkle it in. Hold on. I hope you can see. Hold on, hold on. It's a tight squeeze right now. Okay. So I'm just going to sprinkle in. The different colors and I'm not like really worried too much about keeping my gloves clean between the two colors if I was doing like the other bath bomb I showed you where it's like perfectly one color on each side um, I usually use like a scoop or a spoon to make sure that the mix is um, like not getting on my gloves and then getting into the other side too easily. And then I'm just gonna put a little green on top because I don't want it to be all one color. Okay, so then let me weigh that. Um, ideally, I want these to be five and a half ounces. So I'm overdoing it because you lose some on the unmolding process and you lose some in the cure. The cure. See how this does without any binder. So the tip cracked just, can you see? Just a little bit. That's cool. That happens. Not stressing that. I probably could have mixed my mix a little bit longer, to be honest, because it's a little bit grainy, but they're going to get painted, so it's not that big a deal to me. I have graduated from using index cards. Perfect. I've graduated from using index cards to using uh, soap boxes. They're like super sturdy and I appreciate them. Now, this is the humid weather recipe and I am in extremely humid weather today. Um, it's not, like sometimes I do have to use binder and sometimes I don't. I always try to test it without it because it's easier to not add binder and not worry about warts and other things like that so i think the recipe says like you don't have to add binder but i mean sometimes you do sometimes you don't it's just like one of those things so and i'm poking holes in it if you guys have ever seen me do this i'm poking holes in it so that it will hopefully float most of the time they do some of the time they don't like i don't know what to tell you Okay, and then I'll check in in just a second. Um, okay, Lunar Pixie says you're addicted to the fragrance of these. It's so much better than expensive chocolate. Yeah, it's it's um it's interesting. So I'm not I'm not gonna claim that I'm like super knowledgeable when it comes to like designer fragrances. I'm just not. It's not like my deal. So that came out perfect. There was no chip on the top or anything like that it just came out perfect and you can see the way it just adds some cool texture to these um, so yeah I'm not like the most knowledgeable when it comes to designer fragrances however um, that that 
Number one, like telling your customers like this is a Tom Ford dupe, they probably know who he is, even if I don't. Yes, I'm sorry, I don't even know who that is, to be honest. The only thing I know about Tom Ford is in the Saponification Nation where every now and then it always comes up that somebody's going to post like, if you don't, if you think you're underpriced, overpricing your soaps, remember that Tom Ford soaps sell for $40 a bar, so that's the only thing I know about Tom Ford. Literally don't know anything else about the dude. So. But, uh, yeah, just being, like, telling your customers it's a Tom Ford dude, they like that. It's a good masculine fragrance without being like too manly dare I say so I overfilled that one so I'm just gonna knock off the extra into my dump bucket and then I'll show you what I do with those um that extra stuff now it doesn't I mean if I end up having to do one at the end where it has kind of that mottled look on it, it's fine. Um, I just try not to put that on the outside edges because you get, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's mottled. It's not like as clear or even, so. But everything's going wrong with this one. As you can see, I was gonna say, as you can see, it's a very easy mold to work with unless you knock the top off in the middle of doing it, like I just did. And this one's gonna be overweight for sure now, but I'd rather be overweight than underweight. Just, yeah, just saying. Come off. Okay, it's still fine now. Actually, that would have been a good one for me to show you guys like how this, works but it's fine it's fine so the first time i did these cubes i pushed i pushed it i posted them um on my instagram like a little video of me making them and i asked people what do you think i'm making and i got all kinds of amazing answers like so many good ideas from what people guessed. And the only person who guessed correctly was Lunar Pixie. And girl, I don't know how you knew I was making Borg because it's so random and so like <laughs> obscure. Um, so I don't know how you knew I was making Borg, but Lunar Pixie was the only person who knew what I was making, which was Borg. And, but the guesses I got were amazing. People were like, um, are you making Minecraft? Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. We're gonna use this a second. My So my uh, scale turned off. We're gonna use the star advantage. I'll show you what I would do if I had to dump this. So my scale turned off. And I like to know what's in it, I like to tear it out. So I'm just gonna take this and dump it in the dump. Bucket, okay. Turn my scale back on to tear it out. I'm going to add a little bit of color on the edges so I get the edges nice and colored. Or like the, you know, the separated colors on the edges. Then I'm going to add this stuff from the middle into here. And this is a really good way to use up, especially if you're doing like, like I have some that are black and white. Hold on, I'm going to show you this. I have some that are black and white, black on one side, white on the other. Like that is the hardest one to make sure it's perfect. And that's one of the things you can do is that if you mess it up, you just hide that mess up part in the middle, like so. Okay, then as we get back to the top, as we get back to the top, I'm gonna put the holes in it now like so whoa now i'm going to sprinkle on good mix on top so i get those nice clear lines again that i want okay and then like weigh that out cool 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 we're within our tolerated range and now i'm all that and that is um Especially if you're using like a dryer mix that's going to dry out quickly and you're worried about having to 
you're going to have mess ups, right? So it's like, what do you do with those? This is a really good, this is what you do. Because once it's in the middle, nobody sees it, you know? It's like, it's in the middle, it's gone. Okay, so what, back to what I was saying about the ideas that people gave me about these cubes was um, people said, is it a Rubik's Cube? Um, people said, is it dice? I don't know, it was green, so I don't know why people thought dice, but um, there were just like so many good ideas that people gave me for what these could be. And then I was recently thinking that I should probably do some blue ones and make Tesseract cubes for Christmas, um, since my family is a marble loving type of family. So um, it's, there's just like a lot of like really useful things that you can do with this cube shape that don't have anything to do with shower steamers. Um, and uh, honestly, if you're packing them, let me tell you, there is something to be said about packing square bath bombs. Like talk about making your life so much easier when you're like packing them up for a show or to ship them. Like. I really feel like, hear me out, all bath bombs should be square because once you start like packing them for a show, you're just like, this is so easy. They just stack on top of each other. You just pack them in like little boxes and that's it. Like it's, it's brilliant. I really think I just, I mean, maybe we should just petition for all bath bombs, standard bath bombs to no longer be rounds, but squares. Just saying, you could start a movement. But yeah, uh, so there's just there's just like all kinds of different shapes and ideas and things that you can do with this mold. So, yeah, yeah. And as you can see, this is the humid weather recipe. The humidity is disgusting. I don't know what it is today. My humidifier is off. It's full. It's it like. It needs to be emptied, so I don't know what the humidity is right now, but it's disgusting. It feels like it's going to rain outside, so it's probably pretty high. If you live in an area that has less humidity, you can still use the recipe we found, um, but you can just modify it to have less hardeners in it. I think that we are working on, potentially, a dry weather specific recipe. That's uh, a thing that I think that we are working on. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I'll do one more and then I'll see if there's any questions. And then I can keep going or stop. It's up to you guys. Um, so, we do have some other things though in the works that we are brainstorming, Amanda and I, brainstorming um, some exciting stuff. We're I'm I'm thrilled about it. I think Amanda's excited. I think we're both pretty excited about some ideas that we have that we were looking forward to implementing in January. So just hold on to your knickers because it's gonna happen, and I think you're gonna be happy when it does happen. And we'll still have. Um, you know, we like try we try to have like a blend of like free resources and paid resources. So we still have the color studies um, and stuff like that that's free. We have the then there's like the color master class. So if you wanted to go like more in depth on it, right? So we have we try to like balance both of those. Um, this would be a paid thing, so it's not free, but it's like it's it's hella awesome. Just just trust me. Just trust me. It's exciting, to say the least. So, I can tell you, this mix, I have had to before, I don't, I don't recommend doing this, okay? But I have had to before where my older son, um, he was going to fly, and he got to the airport, and um, he was supposed to fly on standby. There was like 10 seats available, so I just dropped him off. He's 17, he's fine. Um, and then he called, he had gotten bumped off his flight, and so I had to go pick him back up. And so it's like an hour to the airport and an hour back. So it was like two hours 
where I was in the middle of the mix and I had to stop, cover it, leave, and come back. And I had, I mean, I had to add water for binder to it, but I'm telling you that it still worked for me. My mix still worked. It wasn't dried up or anything like that. So I've had to do, I've had to do, that's the longest time I've had to leave it, but I have had other times where it's like you start a mix up and then your sweet, affectionate, loving husband has made you a meal that like, darn it, you're not going to walk away from that. So you're like, okay, I'm going, he's made me a meal and we're going to stop everything and go eat. Um, and had to walk away and come back and the mix was still good to use too. So this it's always a little bit nerve-wracking, but it's something that I've been able to do. So um, the other thing I've been able to do with this mix is to rebatch it. So I've had times where, like, I woke up in the morning and it was covered in warts for whatever reason. Uh, the door was cracked or um, one of the times we had the window had, like, a crack in it. This is at my other house, but the window had a crack in it. And um, I was able to, in the morning, to rebatch it. It was, it was within like a few hours. I say morning, like I'm usually up at like 3 a.m. working, so it was like a few hours, but I was still able to rebatch it, which is pretty crazy considering that's not like something we commonly talk about being able to do with bath bombs, so. Okay, so these will get painted. Half of them will be painted as Minecraft, which is a really simple, easy paint job to do. Um, and then the other half will be cre uh, painted as board, where I just do black lines one way and black lines the other way. So if you're a Star Trek nerd and you know <laughs> the Borg art and you would like to make your own Borg bath bombs, that's another way that you could do it. Um, or you could, I just didn't want to make the whole thing black. I didn't want to make the whole bath bomb black, which is why I made them green in the center. Um, let me check and see if there's any questions that you guys have. Oh, is there a code for make your own buzz? Um, we do have, like on the color studies, we do have an affiliate link that you can use. You don't have to use. So an affiliate link means that um, if you use it, they give us like a small percentage of your sale. Like not of your sale, but they give us like a small credit. Um, I think it's like one or two percent. I mean, it's not a lot, so you can use that if you want to. Um, otherwise, is there like a discount code for them? I don't think we have coupon codes or anything like that. Um, Dana's asking, where is this recipe? This recipe is the high humidity recipe, which you can find on the website. I'll either link it or somebody else can link it. Um, I'll either link it when I'm done or somebody else can link it right now if they're cool and watching. Um, <laughs> Borg cubes, Jamie's uh, the steamer, shower steamers, your shower steamer packaging. Yeah, I was making shower steamers this morning. Um, I had somebody order like 200 shower steamers at one time. So uh, I feel like I'm like sniffling and stuff, but I'm like sniffling because my sinuses are open. That's like, mm, yeah. Um, Dan says Minecraft slime cubes. Yeah, they're, um, they're creepers. So same concept though, right? Um, I don't really know that much about Minecraft, so I'm not even gonna pretend that I know. <laughs> but my kids know about Minecraft, so uh, there's that. And uh, Dan says, hi, hi, Dan. And let's see if there's any um, more questions or anything like that. Oh, where do I get the, these caps? Um, I'll include a link, it's there from Amazon. People ask that a lot. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see. All right. Well, that's, I think that that's all like, yeah, yeah. Um, Jamie says you abandon your cart. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's a good tip. Jamie, Jamie says that she, you can abandon your cart with make your own buzz, um, and then come back and they'll send you a discount code. Now that's kind of clever. I've never, I don't think that I've ever tried that. That's clever. I will say though, for make your own buzz, um, I know that people like, shipping is a big deal, right? Like we all want quick shipping, we all want cheap shipping. I will say that um, Make Your Own Buzz during the color masterclass, um, I ordered um, four ounce size of all the lakes and I forgot to order Red 27 for some reason. And um, they were super awesome. I contacted them, I was like, hey, I know that this is like, 
terrible timing, but like it was like a Monday and I needed it by Friday. And I was like, I don't know if you guys can rush order it for me. I'm more than happy to pay for, you know, rush order. But um, I am out of that red 27 and I like desperately need it. And they did an amazing job, like great customer service. They contacted me, made sure that it came in. Um, to me really quickly and so that was I and I don't I don't know that they rush deliver other things so that's I some places have an option for that and other places don't but um I, I'm just praising them for the fact that like I let them know that it was like kind of an emergency situation and completely my fault that I hadn't placed you know hadn't ordered the things I needed to order but they went above and beyond and made sure that I had that um, in time for the color master class so I thought that, that was really awesome of them it's definitely not something they had to do it wasn't like they forgot something out of my order like that was my bad I forgot something um, but they did a really good job on that so there is that they also have a lot of other kind of specialty ingredients so if there's other things that you guys are looking for for like making cosmetics they kind of have some different um, I'm not even I'm not even gonna pretend that I know what that crap is I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not a formulator like that's not where God gifted me so and I see like ducal glow side sulfazite things I don't know what any of that means I just don't know <laughs> what that stuff is so but they have a lot of some like weirder kind of stranger things that I never use but I'm sure are useful for, for things so there's that uh, yeah so what do you guys think um, next next time you know you guys could also I guess we could ask what you guys want to see I could um, totally do next time or I could show you right now I could show you real now which is what I was gonna say real now how quickly I can show you how to make a two color bath bomb really quickly where you want both sides to be perfect. We can do that. I can show you that real quick. Let me go get my round mold and I'll show you. Time, I'll do a per like I'll show the black and white ones those are those are mostly like I think I just do that to myself because I like the challenge Hold on. so typically if I'm doing two color bath bombs like this or where they're round and I want the colors to be perfect I will um, have one side be like the light side and the other side be the dark side so that um, I'm not having to like constantly clean the colors out between each round but um, I would so my, my bath bombs my rounds are six and a half ounces so I would tear my scale out then I would place half the amount in here so 3.25 and that's how you get you know that perfect in the middle line okay and then uh, do the other side like so big okay hold on and I would poke holes in it and stuff I'm not gonna keep it round so I'm not gonna take the time to poke holes in it but I would definitely poke holes in it um, and all that jazz sorry I guess I could have like done this a little bit smarter not harder but whatever okay and then I would take Everybody 
these molds, like your backbone's gonna weigh differently. I, most people who use, the, this is a two and a half round, and most people who use this, their backbones don't weigh as much as mine. I think that it has something to do with the fact that I use cocoa butter, or I don't know, maybe my, my mix compresses a little bit more, because I really base it off of the Saturn ring. That's really what I base it off of. But you can see right there that the Saturn ring is like perfectly split color-wise, like, which is the goal. Goals! Perfect. So then I would have right where it's perfectly two colors and if I um, was going back and forth so what I would try to do is make sure one side was always my light side and my other one side was always my dark side um, get some cheap kitchen towels and you can constantly like I would eat probably each time depending on how perfect I wanted it to be like green on green it's very close so it's not too big a deal but like the black and white one um, I wipe out the um, the shell each time before I would mold it um, and so that's just something I do if I'm going to be doing two color bath bombs. How many of you just gassed when I did that? I'm just like, I just throw it away. Another perfect bath bomb that I don't need. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I'll, I can, I'll just finish. I guess I can finish this batch out because it seems anticlimactic now to like walk away when it's literally almost done but i try not we try not to make these lives too too long for you guys i don't want it to be that boring but it is making i mean i don't know i'm always amazed that people watch lives and yet i will still go watch like my friends youtubes and stuff so I don't know. I guess like when we're doing it ourselves, we're like, oh, this is taking forever. But when it's other people, I'm like, give me more. I want to watch you do everything <laughs> forever. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them and I'll try to answer them. If you have any, um, if you have any suggestions of stuff that you're like interested in seeing us do, let me know that as well. Um, if you have, I was going to do vacuum pour molds today, um, but I changed my mind. So, you know, if there's something that you're like, man, I would really like to see how this, how you do this, um, you know, you can definitely suggest that to us and we will try to accommodate you if we can. Whoops, I broke it. He's okay though. He's just like a crack. Yeah, like, I super don't stress about, just letting you know, like, if you guys are under this impression that, like, all of my bath bombs are perfect, I don't really stress about them if they're, like, slightly cracked on the edges, um, Jamie Kirby posted a video today of her doing those, like, super adorable, uh, I'm just gonna call them Christmas cakes, Christmas trees, um, and, like, doing the icing on the side of them. And one of the things that she said to me was like, she had to get over the fact that it was crap. You know, like they weren't perfect, but you're gonna put icing on them or you're gonna paint them or whatever you're gonna do. And at the end of the day, like your customers still are gonna love it. So sometimes I think that we stress over it way too much. I am totally guilty of that as well. Um, so I'm not even gonna pretend that like, that's not a thing that I deal with, but <laughs> I do deal with that as well. But I'm just saying, like, we probably don't need to stress over it as much as we actually do. I can't remember if we put holes in this, so I'm doing it again. And that, as they say, is pretty much that. I maybe have enough mix for one more. And then, we shall be done. So, if you, oh, that's what I was going to say. So, if you do two color bath bombs, show us how you do it. How do you do it? Or how do you do 
how do you handle this color and fragrance oils? You know, um, I've never used, I know people ask about vanilla stabilizer. I've never used it. I've never used it. I just generally go with it. Like if something's going to discolor, I just go with it. Um, uh, I know that sometimes it can like change the fragrance, but it's just, that's not why I haven't done it. I just haven't done it because I've just never done it. So if you use a vanilla stabilizer, maybe tell us like what's your experience with that? Do you like, do you like it? Do you use it? There's different types from different brands. So I do know that about it. It's just not something I've just always been kind of of the opinion that I would just go with it. If it's going to discolor my soap, I just pick a design that's going to work with the discoloration. If it's going to discolor my bath bombs, I either try to sell them real quick, just count them once they turn brown, or just don't stress about it. Like, so that's, but I'm kind of a laissez-faire type of person anyway, so maybe, maybe not the person to get advice on for that, but I'm just saying that's how I handle it. How do you handle it? Sorry, I just got done watching the new episodes of The Crown, which I love, but that means that I've, uh, turn British occasionally. I'll just kind of pop out with some British. Br some British. Yeah, that's what it's called. With some, with a British accent. That's been happening. So. I sort of feel like it's just a spa in here right now because I did a bunch of shower steamers this morning, so. Ah, that one did break. Like, that legitimately broke. Okay, watch this. Just kind of sprinkle some on the side and kind of sprinkle some on the side. <laughs> just kind of squeeze it in there. That was probably for me just flipping it up like real nonchalantly, not trying to take my time. There you go. See, he survived surgery. He looks fine. Everything's fine. He made out a living will anyway, so it's fine. And that is pretty much it. There is maybe enough mix for another one, but probably not. I don't know where my thingy went. Um, so I'll probably just throw this to my children and let them use it. Because they're both home for the holidays. Which, like, they had gone back to school, so I'm not used to them being here anymore. Again. We're all trying to cope. So, anyway, two color bath bombs with a discoloring fragrance oil. How do you handle it? Huh? Uh, that's pretty much all for today, guys. So, happy making.